big scientific advances often occur when different ideas collide and get synthesized. We're seeing that in a number of different ways in what we're doing at IQIM. From sort of the computer science perspective, we have this idea that quantum systems are very complex. Quantum geometry really is a kind of emergent idea, a realization of more is different, that there's something more fundamental than space-time from which space-time is composed. People who work on gravitation have struggled with these questions for a long time, but now some of the things that we've learned, trying to think about quantum computers, we can bring that together with some of the things we've learned about quantum gravity, and I think that is right now leading to rapid advances. So that's one of the things we're interested in. What I'd really like to see is experimental progress that can give us guidance on some of those problems. Which sounds kind of crazy because normally when physicists talk about quantum gravity, we're imagining really exotic and inaccessible phenomena like what happens when a black hole forms and somebody falls in and gets swallowed up by the singularity. Well, we're asking about the quantum physics of the whole universe right after the Big Bang. You would think hard to explore experimentally and of course it is. But some of the theoretical questions we ask about those things, we can get some answers or at least some guidance by doing experiments and that's one of the things we're working toward and IQIM in particular. There are a lot of ways in which the types of quantum matter that can be realized can be understood, classified, characterized using some of the ideas we've developed about quantum computers and that's something else we're trying to do and to connect that with experiment. We have theoretical proposals about exotic types of many particle states which have not yet been realized in the laboratory but which we think and hope can be maybe in the next few years and we're working towards that too.